right, just real quick, um, this is what I have for a squad setup so far. So for a traded soldier, if you're playing, if you're making all your AIs come to life, basically, um, you can make one class for yourself, which is like a super uber cheap class for yourself to control, and then the other ones, um, you gotta make sure that you compensate for AI control. So for the primary weapon, I chose Remington instead of like like the MSBS because computers they don't shoot the MSBS as they don't have a really fast trigger finger. They have an okay trigger finger, so I would rather have them spray and pray if um if it comes down to it. But that's why I have a automatic gun for that slot. And then like for the scope, I mean if it's AI, you don't need a scope because they don't need a scope, but definitely put on a silencer. If it comes down to it, you can remove a silencer off of one of your uh, people and then so that uh, one person makes all the noise so everyone goes and focuses onto him and then every like your other people can just pick your the opponents off by then. And then for the secondary you could choose uh I chose um a pistol. Like I said, you could ch definitely choose PDW but like their trigger finger isn't that fast, so um I would rather just have them just like shoot. Uh, I might have to unlock the magnum to see how AI handles the magnum, but so far this is how I have it right now. And as you know, AI throws um, frag grenades really, really accurately, so you could like leave that as that. And then the motion motion sensor, I just put it on because it's rather than I'd rather get a kill than not get a kill. So everything else, they don't really use concussions. They rarely use concussions on me. So, yeah, it's not worth it because it's not, I don't think they're, like, pre-programmed to, like, use that, like, immediately. So, for perks, um, yeah, slide of hand and also quick draw. So, that's, like, five perks right there. I mean, five uh, perk slots right there. And then for, like, the other three, um, computers, they have a really keen, keen sense of um, hearing. So like um, if if you run like this amplify, they can actually be better better soldiers because like unlike unlike you, I mean you can hear something nearby but you have no idea where it is. It's, it could be like in a hundred, three hundred degrees like radius of like close to you. But like computers, they have a really keen sense of hear, hearing and like they can immediately pinpoint where your um, opponent is. So I put that on, and then you can put on for takedown too. Another option is for perks, um, you run this, you run uh, incog because like somehow like computers are like have a really incredible advantage over uh, players because um, they can see you before they you see them and they can like do a 180 turnaround and just pop you in the face and uh, they're able to do this because your name tag appears quote unquote on their screen so like if you run incog if your name tag doesn't appear on their screen then they have a harder time finding you and then you have a better chance of staying alive if you're like another AI if you're AI versus AI I would definitely suggest incog and then try to mix it up so like um, one person can have incog and then like another person doesn't so like when when like the the guy, the the person you're shooting, um, <clears throat> doesn't ha like he can either see your name or doesn't see your name, and he might think it's like a glitch in the system. First of all, when they're playing you, and by the time he realizes you're running incog, it's kind of too late. So run like you can definitely run that, and you can run focus if you want because like if there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of spray and pray among AI sometimes, and you can run like stalker or. I mean, wiretap doesn't really work because, um, computer, I mean, if you run wiretap for yourself, that might be of advantage because, like, the other people might not have, like, any of the kill streak unlocked, and, like, if their team is quote-unquote winning, you can just run wiretap for yourself and then see, uh, who's on the map, and you can pick them off really easily, but, um, 
if you're a player, you definitely have a different class setup than um, computers. Um, for computers, for perks, I uh, could also suggest like ping or hardline. I mean, they, they could be like scout soldiers, so like they can just like be the person who just like their whole mission in life is to get two kills with hardline and then whip out like um, a what's it called, a sat com. And then, like, if you have no side count, comps, have, obviously, then you have full radar. So, like, like some could be, like, you, you can, like, have some of your AI be support, some of your AI really be, really, really be, like, dead-on bloodhounds who, like, get, like, really ridiculous streaks. But, um, I noticed that, like, your AI doesn't really pick up a weapon after he uses it. He just, like, goes on a pistol. So, like, you could choose, um, Scavenger for one of your perks. Like for one of your your AI loadouts, like you can choose scavenger, or you can choose um uh what's it called a max fully loaded if that helps make one of your AI's streaks go alive so that like they can change their assault to um I don't know like um battle hind that sounds good I mean they're not really good at placing sentry guns they just put it randomly I've seen it and. Dogs are okay, so you can have like you can run SATCOM dog and then um, battle hind. They're not really good at operating Trinity rocket. They get like dry pussy sometimes. Um, yeah, and then like um, because I mean I mean I'm only like I'm not that far along. If you if you can see closely, eight level eighteen, level ten, level eight, level eight, level eight, level eight. So like I just got it to level eight so that I can unlock slide of hand for everybody. But, um, if you have, like, more squad points, you could definitely splurge it on assault types and then, like, buy the um, bat battle hunt for a few of them. Or you can run support. Um, like, um, if you have a really good AI that's, like, really super uber cheap, you can run support so you can give them more perks, such as, like, the ones I mentioned about, um, fully loaded, scavenger, like, and, well, get one or the other, don't get both. And then, like, get, um... Let's see, what else can you get? You can get, like, Stalker and, like, Incog for the guy. And then, um, yeah, just, uh, just vary it up. You don't have to make all your AI the same, but, like, have it so that they have the basic layout of being cheap, which is sleight of hand and quick draw. And then for the uh, other three slots, you could, you could run, definitely run Incog or Ping or something. Or that's, or don't run Dead Silence. Do like um apple pie, and then um yeah, you know, some can run like strike packages. Some can run like support, uh, not support. I mean they, they don't really do. Some can run specialist. So like you can definitely own your opponent. So for names, you can definitely classify your names. For me, I just like fucked around and like made it so that it's funny. So you get to kill your own GPA. You get to kill George Bush. George Bush gets to kill you. Kill your mom. Look at this. Plug the whole frame up. The motel. Dreams. You scared of your dreams, bro? You Ronald Reagan for, like, fucking up the economy for economics and your girlfriend for genetic inbreeding. So, it's pretty funny. I, like, it's a fun atmosphere. So, like, uh, I have no idea. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did pretty, I do pretty well with my squads. I'm, like, rank a thousand. I mean, uh, I fucked around a little bit and got, like, too many losses in the beginning, but, like, I mean, like I said, this only came out, like, a few days, um, I don't know, a week or so, two weeks, maybe, and I'm already ranked, like, pretty high because I, <laughs> I know life did, I don't know what I, I don't know why I did, but anyways, um, I guess I could run a game and see <coughs> my crew in action. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, usually the other guy doesn't have a mic, so you don't even get to talk shit to him. But this guy obviously prestige, and then got to level sixty, and then started fucking around with um squads. Let's see, let's see how I do against him. Let's see if I fare well. Like I said, like I have squad points, but like I haven't like completely made it so that it's finalized. I'm still like twer like tweaking, like um. 
all my setup. And obviously squad take longer to load up because you're loading up AI instead of just loading up players, so that's why it takes a little longer, but the um you get like a steady stream of um uh points and also you get to do uh your operations pretty not operations but the um the the, the blue briefcase is really fast because I mean obviously you're playing AI and you're kind of dumber slash weaker. But uh yeah, I like this because like if you're like in in a time where like everybody is like being try hard and everybody's giving you like a like a retarded like time online, you can just switch the squad and then just start owning because like you already have everything set up. So yeah, I got the first kill. I mean, my squad got. Yeah, my bad if I become like silent after a while because like I get too focused. Yeah, if you're like um, killing AIs, shoot the kill. Don't shoot the weekend because like once they realize it's you, it's like they can see you through walls and see you through everything. It's like kind of cheap, but they have to make it kind of cheap so that it can be a challenge to the players, I guess. Like I said, they're ridiculous at um, throwing grenades. See, Ronald Reagan has a negative spread and your dreams has a negative spread and everybody else is positive, so it's not bad. Instead of like, <clears throat> one guy <coughs> doing all the work, just um, have your team do the work and spread it out evenly so you don't have to go ham every freaking level. Like I said, like, different maps, um, comes an advantage for, you know, like different AI setup. Oh, that's the player, right? Nope, that's not the player.
<clears throat> so even though if you're a loser or nothing or anything, like you can just make fun of him because like basically for a kill cap, they either get to kill uh, their dreams, hopes, and wishes, or they get to kill their mom, or they get to kill their girlfriend, <laughs> George Bush. It could be like really political and really funny. Like I see some loadouts be like Homer Simpson, like the, the whole Simpsons family, Bart, 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 Bart everybody. Or they could do like the favorite rappers or anything. So yeah, I haven't really tweaked what should go on what, but um, this is a, uh, a harder opponent, I would say, maybe, I don't know, but um, I did alright, and my squad usually picks up positive spread, if not like break even points, so yeah, there we go.